Okay sa atubangan. Yes, okay. So we are also very excited to see your presentation today. So we hope that this day, when is your last day sa atuang school, school day, so we hope that we will make the best out of it. Okay, to start the program, we would like to call on our ever active and supportive principal, Mrs. Rosini Pica Valles, to give us the opening message. Let's give her a round of applause. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Are you excited, children? Why are we celebrating today? Yes? Because it's Jesus' birthday, right? Yes! Are you excited to celebrate your own birthday? Yes! Everybody is excited and we are all excited because it's Christmas. And Christmas is the best day of the year because we remember 2,000 years ago, Jesus, God's love, sent to us through His Son, Jesus. That's why we celebrate Christmas. We are excited to receive gifts. Are you excited to receive gifts? Yes! yes. But going? always remember that the greatest gift is God's love for all of us. So, today, we are going to have parties, we are going to have celebration, but we will always remember the great love for all of us from God so we can also share this love to others. Sharing your talent, sharing your treasure, and sharing your time is the best gift that we can give to everyone. So let us enjoy our celebration today as we witness the children perform and thank you very much parents for your ever walay uh, katapusan nga support no for our children and for the school to God be all the glory and let's enjoy this celebration because the reason for the season is the reason for the season is Jesus thank you Okay, thank you so much, Teacher Rose. So indeed, this year was a great year for Kainos Montessori. And we hope that next year will be better and more blessed year for all of us. At this time, we would like to call on Teacher Jane. Yes, to give us a message about Christmas, about giving love on Christmas Day. Let's give her a round of applause. But this is um, another uh, message that I'm going to tell you. A while ago, Teacher Rose told us about um, about Christmas. But let me tell you about the greatest gift that we will ever receive this Christmas. Let me show you um, what kind of gifts do you want to receive, especially the children. What do you want to receive? I'm not gonna give you, I don't have lots of money. But what is your dream gift? What do you think is the greatest gift that you want this Christmas? Huh? Uh, uh, maybe um, some of the 
boys know this one? Oh, who wants that? Look at all, look at all. What do you want there? Oh, it's a young. Na aunta. Next. Oh, who wants nerf? Oh, the boys. Layan sila ani, no? Do you think that will be the greatest gift that you will ever receive? This Christmas? You think? Oh, let's try with the girls. I hope the girls will love this. Oh, who wants shop? Another gift. Ato ba yung imagine? Oh, pony! You what? Na ako nito dito sa department store. After this, you can ask your mama. Okay. What about for the parents? No, for for your parents. Do you want to give gifts to your parents? Do you think you can afford this one? Please? Oh, mga mama and papa. Wala pati ang mga kids. Ganyan po sila Agni. Isa nila, car. Ha? Toyota? Ha? Lamborghini. That's very expensive. Balik lang ni ano. Namitan na iparaffle din si Teacher Rose and then Agni. Next, the oh iPhone 11. Kids are not happy, so come on. Give me the hot dog, sorry. Pati ang mga kids like hana po the AC mo, no? Yeah, at this it. A trip to Korea. Who wants to go to Korea? Ania Masio. Uh oh. Or Japan. Or Hong Kong, Disneyland. You want to go there? I want to go there. But I'm here to meet you. Ikaw ba tayo? You want all those gifts? Huh? The mga parents na yun pa dito. Do you think that will be the greatest gift that um, we will receive? If nagaan mo, do you think you will be happy? You will be satisfied? And you think, oh, this will be the greatest gift ever. Bukain mo na ba mo, Anna? Huh? No? If ever there will be one million pesos here in front of me, I think I will not be happy. Why? Because for me, that is not the greatest gift that I want. Yes, it's nice to have those things. It's nice to have Shopkins, Holy, Nerf guns, iPhone 11, picture here, or travel here. It's so wonderful to have those things. But let us always remember, kids and parents, that the greatest gift that we will receive was not wrapped in glittery wrappers. Wala de Asia gift putang sa wrapper. Just like those gifts there, oh. And the gifts that you brought today for your exchange gift, wala siya wrap. No? It was wrapped in a swaddling clothes. Clothes laying in a chair, please, because it's next slide. Laying in a, oh, sorry, di kayo maklaro doon, but that's a manger. No? It was not wrapped in a very beautiful wrapper, but in a swaddling cloth. I think, naanong may idea. Let's reserve that. And, oh, listen, satan, listen. Naapay next. Our greatest gift was not placed under the Christmas tree. Wala. Wala siya gibutan dito sa Christmas tree. And I'm sure that a lot of you, your Christmas tradition will be wrapping gifts and on December 25, opening the gifts under the Christmas tree. But no! Our greatest gift was not placed under the Christmas tree, but he was... What's that? 
he was hanged on the cross for us. And I think you know exactly who that greatest gift is. Let me share to you first a verse in the Bible. The greatest verse that you will ever find. Next sure. Do you know John 3.16? Familiar? Or your favorite verse? Let's say, everybody, can you read? For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that everyone who believes into Him would not perish but would have eternal life. And that's in John 3.16. Okay, let me explain a little about this. This here is for God. Next slide, sure. Or next. God is our greatest lover. We're talking about the greatest gift. This is the greatest lover. Do you think God is our greatest lover? Yes. So loved. That is the greatest degree. No? Imagine God so loved. Good ang gibutan. So loved. Wala siya na yung, I love you. I will love you. But I so love you. Because that is the greatest degree of love. Because what did he do? First, the world. The greatest company. That's what he saw. The world. He loves the world so much that he gave, this is the greatest action. Iyahang gihatag. He gave. Who? His only begotten son. Yes, here. That is the greatest gift. His only begotten son. That everyone, it's the greatest opportunity. Everyone, all of us. Who believes that is the greatest simplicity. It's so simple. We just have to believe. Right? That's the greatest simplicity. We will just believe that God so loved the world and that He gave His only Son for us. No? Into Him, the greatest attraction. Would not perish. It's the greatest assurance. But, it's the greatest difference. Would have the greatest promise that He has given us. Eternal life. The greatest Kira. blessing. Hi. So you see, this verse alone tells us the message that Jesus Christ, this begotten Son, is our greatest gift. And all we have to do is to believe in Him with all our heart, with all our mind, and also His greatest promise that we will not perish, but we will have eternal life. Oh, so I hope that this season, this Christmas season, you will always remember the greatest love is... With that, can you read that? Or the greatest gift is Jesus, the love of God through Jesus Christ. He was born, but He did not stop there. He died on the cross for us. And I hope that as we celebrate this Christmas season, we will be able to show to others how to love like Jesus. We will give sacrificially to our kids, to our husband and wives, to our neighbors, even the people that we don't know. That's why we are so grateful that this year we have the gift box project because even though you didn't know katong child na inyong tagaan, but you sacrificially give to that child. And that's what all the children and all of us should know, should learn, that we will be able to give love, we will be able to give Jesus Christ to everyone. And I hope that you will have a great Christmas season. Thank you and God bless us all. Yes, let's clap our hands for Teacher Jane for that
Okay, so I think we have a little problem. So we will proceed first to the preschool students. They will be presenting a dance number entitled Go Tell It to the Mountains. Let's give them a round of applause.